the Sierra Nevadas in California. It is not an industrial area, and there isn't a smokestack in sight. But there is an industry here, and it's growing. It's headquartered in Oakhurst. The population is actually somewhat larger than that. But it isn't a metropolis. There aren't any traffic jams, and no one feels particularly rushed. It is that easygoing life that attracted the industry, and it is that easygoing life that keeps it here. It appeals to people under 30, and Ken Williams is. He heads Oakhurst's major industry. It is not his first company. It is not even his first success. But he has failed often enough that failure does not scare him, and often enough that success does not much impress him. I just happened to uh, be in the right place at the right time. An industry was being born. I happened to be there. The industry was forgiving of my lack of experience, and we got here. I must have started 20 different companies. I always had a real harebrained schemes, and I always thought I was going to get rich or something. And I tried everything. Uh, nothing worked. So it, it just became a pattern. But you don't really count on it or even consider yourself a person who's trying because you try so many times and fail so many times. But you only need to succeed once. And Ken Williams has succeeded at video games, a one and a half billion dollar plus industry. His company is named Sierra Online. In 1982, it had sales of $10 million and a net profit of $1 million. Sales this year are expected to double, $20 million worth. Sierra Online sold its first video game for $24.95 in May 1980, three years ago. It had one product then, it has 90 now. Sierra Online was started with an investment of $1,200, but that's the video game industry. It's a unique industry because it's the, it's the only one where you can make this much money, have so much fun, and uh, feel so good about what you're doing. Not all of what they sell is games. Programmers also work on word processing and other business discs, but Sierra Online specializes in entertainment, and maybe that helps keep the company relaxed. It's not restricting at all. That's what I like about it. I could never, I could never work a nine-to-five job. I intend to uh, uh, be financially independent by the time I'm 30. 20 years, 30 years of programming awaits me, I'm sure. Except one thing that scares me is all these kids that are like 13 or 14 that are going to computer camps right now, right? They're uh, going to be pretty computer literate by the time they get to be 20 or 25. Where does that leave me? Personal computers will be here in the majority of homes very soon. And if Sierra Online retains any of the market share it has, we're going to be a very large company. If it becomes a very large company, part of the reason will be that Ken Williams believed that he could run something. But what he thought of himself, other people did not. I began my professional career as, as a computer programmer and um, remember always thinking that I was... Um, I had some management potential. I wanted to be a, a programming manager. I wanted to uh, wanted to have some control of a company. And every place I'd worked as a programmer, my bosses uh, didn't seem to think that, uh, that I had the potential for it. The gentleman I worked for who uh, always thought that um, I had no management potential and uh, couldn't be made project leader, I, um, I eventually hired. He works for me now as executive vice president and um, I tell him he has no management potential. The start of the company was not Ken Williams' belief in himself. The start of Sierra Online was Roberta Williams, mother of two, who writes adventure stories on the computer. I really don't have any love affairs with computers myself. Computers and I do not agree, but I do like to design stories, games, puzzles. I like to put myself are people in challenging positions to see what they would do. They are not games. They are complex puzzles yeah. with a plot and a purpose, and the player makes a difference. Because um, it's a little hard to tell it's free. Okay, try it. Working at home with programmers because she really doesn't like the office, Roberta Williams designs adventure stories where the player becomes the central character. One of her adventure stories can take months to play. 
Sierra Online sells seven of her adventure stories. For her eighth story, Roberta and Ken Williams had to leave the Sierra Nevadas and go to New York City. Jim Henson of the Muppets wanted them to turn last year's fantasy film Dark Crystal into a computer adventure game. They did it. Roberta Williams believes adventure stories will grow in video games because they are like books. They require mental ability, not manual dexterity, to solve. And best of all, they can take advantage of advances made by other people in entertainment. It is part of Ken and Roberta Williams' success, a success built during the worst economic period the country has known since the Great Depression. Thousands of companies failed, theirs grew. Obviously we have more money so we can afford a lot of the luxuries that we never could before. The nice thing about it is control over what you want to do. If I, uh, if I feel like going out to dinner, I do it. If I, uh, if I want a new car, I buy it. Or if they want a new house, they build it, 10,000 square feet worth. In all likelihood, it will cost more than a million dollars when they move in. I can't wait to move into it. I mean, I just, we go out there every day and we watch it being built and little by little and it's so exciting for us. Yeah, it's, it's truly a dream house. This house is uh, everything anybody could ever want. They've got a racquetball court, a sauna, a shower room, a locker room, uh, servants' quarters. We've got a dance floor. We've got an, an office that is big enough to hold uh, 20 computers. You know, it's, um, it's a house to end all houses. I, I don't know why I'm doing it. It's just um, I think I finally uh, convinced myself this company isn't going to fail and that um, I need a place where I could live for the next 50 years and not get tired of. I tend to get tired of things real quick. Except for computers, he does not get tired of them. And while she may not love them, she knows how to use them to do what she wants. She writes the stories, he writes the programs. In a new business all but unknown just five years ago, their combined talents are a huge profit. And now what's really bringing me pleasure is, is, is the things that we're bringing, the new technologies that we're starting up, um, the pioneering. That's one reason why I think we can succeed and others can't. They're a little more worried about, uh, about success than we are. I've got more success than I ever wanted or ever really needed. And from here, if I can just make uh, better games, make the home computer more productive, and put a home computer in every home, then I'll have, I'll have done more than, than I ever wanted. Go down, go out down, eat that man. I told you to go the other way. Colossal Cave, reimagined by Roberta Williams, coming January 19th. Wish list now.